welcome back to this lesson on web logic domain in the previous lesson we looked at the roles and responsibilities but let's focus on now this is one of the most important topic which is about web logic domain and so domain is nothing but a logical collection of resources or servers and what are the resources what are the servers we are going to cover that in a minute but what you see on the right hand side image is nothing but a administration server a couple of managed servers and resources or services and then clusters all combined together in a logical container is called as a web logic domain or a domain so a domain will always have one and mandatory one admin server it can have zero to n managed servers so it can have you can create as many managed servers as you want i think biggest i've seen is 246 or 250 roughly around 264 i think it could be more i've, I've worked on maximum on that amount so you can have zero to n managed servers you can have zero to n clusters what is admin server what is managed server what is cluster we are going to look that in a minute on that particular topic then there are resources and services so things like machine we'll see what exactly is machine in coming lessons it can have a network channel through which data moves it could be potent combination of potent protocol you can have virtual host we'll see what exactly is virtual host it can have jdbc java database connectivity or jms java messaging server and so on so these are resources and services then entire domain configuration is stored in a file based repository and that file based repository is called as or the location is under domain home config config.xml what is domain home we covered it in module one or previous module where we looked at what exactly is domain home so within that domain home there's a folder called config and within that config folder you have a file called config.xml the entire configuration of that entire domain is stored in this file configuration file so that's about web logic domain in a high level we'll go deep dive into these building blocks so what i mean by uh, building blocks or deployment or topologies what you have is these domains can be organized in in a particular format and we'll see that what that format is and domain will have a domain home domain will have a servers and within servers you will have admin and managed servers you will have clusters you will have machines you will have domain directory you will have the admin console so each domain will have its own admin console or web logic console so this is all about uh, a domain let's quickly cover that in for how domain topology or how domain can be organized so you have left hand side you see image which you have a web logic server software installed and then you run a utility called config.sh and from that utility you create a domain which is represented by domain one then you rerun that domain config.sh one more time and say i'm creating another domain so you might have one domain for development environment another domain for test environment third domain for quality assurance or qa environment so one single web logic installation but multiple domains that's one topology or you can have multiple each uh, multiple installation so you have machine one machine two machine three or different i'm talking about machine is i'm a operating system or virtual machine or so virtual machines which are a actual servers and on these servers you have multiple web logic installed and each you have single domain covering multiple machines i repeat one more time there are multiple web logic servers and this is called as horizontal clustering or high availability we'll cover that in when we look at the high availability in disaster recovery we, we discuss about vertical and horizontal clustering so this is horizontal clustering in that you have web logic server one web logic server two web logic server three on three different machines and my domain is being used single domain covering three web logic servers we'll see that as well when we cover in high mobility. so these are multiple ways in which domain can be deployed so so this is in all about topology on domain we we'll look at about domain home and a lot of other things like servers and enemy server in coming lesson or the next lesson but for now let me do a quick recap for this lesson what we have you have a web logic domain which is nothing but a logical collection it has one admin server mandatory and always only one it can have zero to n managed servers it can have zero to n clusters it have other services or resources like machine network channel virtual host 
Java database connectivity, JMS, and so on. The configuration is stored in a config.xml file. It has these components, as I said just now. And you can deploy or have one WebLogic software installation in multiple domains or multiple WebLogic software installations on multiple machines, but all using with having one WebLogic domain. So these are this is a topology you can do. Now, head on to the next lesson where we look at WebLogic domain. We go a little bit deep into the domain. So I'll see you in next lesson.